Hi, this is Ram from ramkerem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use subqueries. Basically, subquery is a query within another SQL query. One very common usage of subqueries is analyzing a problem that requires us to answer several questions which depend on each other. Let me explain. Suppose we want to list all customers who live in the same city as customer 170. In order to solve this problem, we need to answer two questions. First, what is the city of customer 170? And then, who lives in that city? So, we can say, select city from customers, where customer ID equals to 170. We are getting Lakewood. And now we can say select star from customers where city equals to Lakewood. Let's execute. And as you can see, we are getting all customers who live in the same city as customer 170. Now, instead of solving this problem in two steps, we can agree that this expression actually retrieves Lakewood, right? So, Instead of saying select star from customers where city equals Lakewood, we can say where city equals to this expression. Let's copy it and paste it within parentheses. Let's execute again. And as you can see, we are getting the exact same results. This is a subquery. Using a subquery, is much better than using two separate queries. Here, we need to manually check the city and then write its name in the next query. On the other hand, here we simply need to embed the inner question inside the outer query. Also, this query always returns the customers who live in Lakewood, while this query will first check the current city of customer 170, and then, according to the city it retrieved, it will return the relevant customers. So, if customer 170 decides to relocate to New York, this query will return all customers living in New York. This query is static, while this query is dynamic. Before we continue, let me just say that a subquery can be used in different parts of the SQL query. You can use it at the SELECT clause, you can use it at the FROM clause, you can even use it at the ORDER BY clause. In this lesson, we are focusing on subqueries we can use at the WHERE clause. Let's solve another question. We would like to retrieve all customers with the same marital status as customer number 7. So again, we have two questions. What is the marital status of customer number 7? And then, which customers also have that marital status? So, let's see. Select marital status from customers, where customer ID equals 7. That gives us single. Now, we can say, select customer ID first name, last name, marital status from customers, where marital status equals to this expression. Let's highlight and execute. And as you can see, we are getting all of the customers with the same marital status as customer number 7. Let's edit this query in order to make it a little bit more readable. That's better. Few important guidelines. In terms of performance, just note that when we are using subqueries, the inner query is being executed once, and then, based on the results it retrieved, the outer query is being executed. 
When you are using subquery, remember you must wrap it within parentheses. Without it, it simply wouldn't work. So for example, if we will take this query and this time let's try to execute it without the parentheses, as you can see, we are getting an error. So always wrap your subqueries within parentheses. Subqueries should be placed on the right side of the comparison operator. Let me explain. We can take this query for example, and instead of saying city equals to this subquery, we can say subquery equals to city. We will not get an error for placing the subquery on the left side of the comparison operator, but this is less readable. Another important guideline. The type of subqueries we are using in this lesson are called single row subqueries. This type of subqueries can only retrieve one single value. Let me explain. Let's take this query, and this time, instead of saying select city from customers, let's say select city and first name also. Let's try to execute. And as you can see, we are getting an error. The subquery cannot specify more than one column. Okay, so let's fix it. Let's delete the first name and execute again. Now let's try something else. This time, let's delete the where clause. So the subquery will return all of the series in customers table. This is the output of the inner query. Let's try to execute. And again, we are getting an error. The subqueries we are learning in this video can only handle one single value. And as we said, we are calling this type of subqueries single row subqueries. Okay, let's conclude our lesson by doing two more examples. Let's retrieve all of the customers whose monthly discount is greater than the average monthly discount. So again, let's start by answering the first question. What is the average monthly discount? We can say select average monthly discount from customers. And now we can say select star from customers where monthly discount is greater than this expression. Let's execute. And as you can see, we are getting all of the customers with monthly discount greater than the average. One more example. Let's retrieve all of the customers who joined the company after customer 540. Our first question is when customer 540 joined the company. Our second question is which customers joined after this date. So let's see. Let's say select join date from customers where customer ID equals 540. We are getting this date. And now we can say select star from customers where join date is greater than this expression. Let's highlight and execute. And again, as you can see, we are getting all customers who joined the company after customer 540. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned how to use single row subqueries. In the next video, we are going to learn how to use subqueries that return more than one value, multiple row subqueries. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. And if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkedem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.